Chapter 11, Kuvira's Gambit. Today we stand on the precipice of history. There is a grave injustice that must be corrected. As you all know, after the Hundred Year War, Avatar Aang, along with Fire Lord Zuko, stole Earth Empire land and formed the United Republic. Why you gotta drag Aang and Zuko into this? Now you cross the line. How dare you? How dare you? This land belongs to the people of the Earth Empire, and it's time to take it back. Republic City will be ours. All hail the Great Uniter! Wow, she's got him well trained. Yeah, she's so good at spinning stories to get people rallied up. The troops obviously love her a great deal, but that's such a misrepresentation of what actually happened. I love you, Kuvira. I never could have done this without your help. After we claim victory, we can finally get married and rule our empire together. Ooh, she's using him. She's good. Not Julie good, but pretty good. It is a nice touch having things sort of come full circle. Like, we started in Republic City in season one, and then we sort of branched out for the other seasons, and now we're kind of coming back home. Good! You're all here! What's with you interrupting my important meetings all the time? Sue, what are you... you're okay! Oh yeah, she doesn't know. How did you escape? Great story. But we had a run-in with Kuvira. We saw her super spirit weapon up close. Like, really close. Yeah, you almost died. I pretended to be loyal to Kuvira so I could sabotage her weapon. It didn't work, but I did overhear her plans to attack. My guess is she's coming by rail. Then we'll cut the rail lines. I agree. I won't let Kuvira take our city. Cool. I like that scene a lot. After all their bickering, after all they've been through, it's really nice to see them together for the final chapter. Even Wu's helping. Weld hotter, tighten tighter. The president said we only have two weeks to get these hummingbirds humming. That was fast. I can't wait for him to see Julie. Guess who else we found? Ha! <laughs> Julie. Now, isn't there something you wanted to say to her? I thought my only chance to save you was to join her. Every day I hoped for the chance to see you again and tell you the truth. Derek, you gotta treat this woman better. You mean the world to me. And I'm sorry if I hurt you in any way. You shouldn't apologize. Apology accepted! <laughs> now be a good uh -oh. assistant and man the assembly line! No! If you want me around, you need to start treating me like an equal! There you go. Mm. <sighs> you know it's bad when Bolin is the voice of reason. When Bolin has better girl instincts, you messed up. Come on, Varric. I know you're smarter than this. Please find your evacuation handbooks and turn to subsection 1-26. If you live in Northwest Vector 1, report to your primary meeting location, which would be at the eastern entrance of the Southern Water Tribe Library. I think Mako is starting a panic. What's confusing? I'm giving very specific instructions. But people can't read. This is Prince Wu. There you go. Believe me, I know what it's like to be afraid. I used to not be able to go to the bathroom by myself. Too much. Too much. Control us. None of us will ever be able to go to the bathroom, and then we all lose. <laughs> We're winners. Winners that are going to get out of this city in a calm and orderly fashion. Oh, it's the... I know them. Grab that guy down the street. This guy. And head to the nearest bus, train, or ferry station. It's funny. We're going to get you out of here. He's learning fast. You might not make such a bad king after all. Thanks to Big Brother Mako. We want to stay. This is our city, and it's going to need all the help it can get. Only a coward flees his fate. Thank you. Yeah, and I feel like Milo and Janora can do a lot. That weapon. It's too powerful. It can destroy the city. We can't let it get to our doorstep. We'll sneak behind enemy lines and disable the weapon. If I agree. And it might be our only shot at preventing an all-out war. Yeah, it makes sense. I don't think there's anything else they can really do. That weapon is nasty. It's nice to see Korra back to a somewhat normal state. She sounds a lot more decisive. Radio Republic City! <gasps> what the heck is that? Whoa. That changes everything. That's not a train at all. What the heck was that? <laughs> There's only one thing that could defeat this machine. Giant, sexy bullet. Where is he when you need him? She's already crossed into United Republic territory. She's a week early. This doesn't make sense. There aren't any train tracks this way. How are they transporting that super weapon of theirs? There it is. Apparently on a giant mecha suit. I love how it's feminine looking. Oh, this is really cool. We have conceptualizing the controls. I know what happens next! 
Pretty good shot. This thing doesn't even need to recharge or reload or anything. That's crazy. They're going to warn Republic City. Let them. No one can stop us. Ah. Uh, at this point in Kavira's mind, she's just already won. She's a little bit overconfident. But then again, I would be too by this giant machine thing. Still no Kai. Oh, there he is. I was wondering where he was. The brave just stare it in the face like this. Stand down or we will attack. I don't think you understand the power I possess. Let me make it clear. Uh oh. The no reload time thing is huge. You have three seconds or I wipe out your army. No choice. No choice. Yeah. That's a tough one. We surrender. Republic City is yours. Yeah, just, I mean, bide your time, I guess. Find a way to beat that thing. I will. Well, that was over before it began. How are we supposed to fight an entire army, a mecha giant, and that crazy weapon? It was always going to be that way. They have a lot of tools at their disposal, though. Like bullying. But Tar Jr. built it. He'll know how to take it down. I say we capture him and get him to talk. Hmm. I know it's a long shot, but it's the only chance we have. And if we don't... Cora, I'm in. That's great. I like Tenzin in that suit. That was so well done. I love the Korra, Tenzin, Bumi stealth mission. Why are you doing this? I know you set out to help better the world, but this is madness. It's madness to let others take what's yours and accept it blindly. It doesn't have to cost any lives if you would all just surrender. All that Kuvira and I want is a united Earth Empire. How much does he know? Does he not know about the camps? Either way, it's tough because I feel like he's so far gone down this road that turning back is just really painful. You gotta be careful what ideas you let in and what you support and who you let yourself be convinced by because the farther down that road you go, the harder it is to turn back, the harder it is to be open to new things. Kuvira was so convincing for him that he's not even willing to listen to his mother, you know, who like gave him life and supported him and gave him safety and all this stuff. It's easy to get roped into this idea that what you believe in is best for the world and like to think of yourself as someone who's fighting for a good cause and then transition into thinking that anything is justifiable towards that end, you know. But then you miss the important things like, you know, your family or obvious injustices that are happening. It's easy to fall into this thinking. Please, Batar, stop all of this and come home. We want you back with us. Kuvira is my family now. We're going about this all wrong. I will take away the one thing you care for the most. Kuvira. I'm going to make it my life's mission to never let you see the one you love again. That's a weird strategy to take. According to your people, he's not on the airship. If he's not on the airship, then where is he? Kuvira, it's Batai. I've been captured. Korra refuses to release me unless we back down and leave the city. I feel like he's about to find out what Kuvira really thinks of him. Was that Korra's plan? If so, that's genius. If you try to take Republic City, the Avatar will never let me see you again. This poor guy. We have each other. Let's go back home and get married. The only thing that matters is that we're together for the rest of our lives. I see. So that hug in the beginning, that was basically setting this up. He's in for a rude awakening. Let's just put it that way. And he deserves it. I love you, Batar. Nah, it's a distraction. Damn, she's gonna just kill him? Just like that? I thought she'd abandon him, but... She's pointing that weapon right at us! No, she wouldn't! Oh, yes, she would. She is. Everyone out! Now! Now! Oh, no, not the dragonflies. Come on, I want to see those working. I'm going to check for survivors. I feel like she could just take this thing down while she's at it. No! So just trying to predict here, that was definitely a moment of disillusionment. You would hope for Batar Jr. So now maybe they can get the plans for the the big machine, the big mech, whatever it's called. The Kuvira Mobile. Batar Jr. kind of bothers me. Like for him to be that obsessed over Kuvira, she must have really gotten to him emotionally. And I don't think it's 
just because he's attracted to her or whatever. It's because she found something she could give him that was deeply rooted to like his pain as a person and his deepest fears and like his hopes and dreams, his feelings of inadequacy. She just tuned right into that. But that's how it goes though, right? Like the ideas that take hold of us to the point where we'll even turn away family members or turn our backs on our own ideals are ones that resonate with us emotionally. And I think people who are smart like Kuvira, they know that. And so they don't deal in the realm of pure ideas. They they deal in the realm of emotion. And I think so many messages we get are emotionally driven in that way. But anyway, I hope Batar Jr. will see the light now. I hope that he'll actually be helpful. I hope he can actually reconcile with his family. Because I feel like this is something that's it's hard to recover from. Like, he turned against his whole family. That's... That's rough, buddy. It looks like we've just shot straight into the finale. I look forward to seeing you for the second to last episode of Korra. Nobody. Nobody. 